Hello friend, welcome back to Auto Resource Channel. I've got here today 2001 Subaru Outback and it needs the engine oil change. So let's go and see how it's done. This Outback is equipped with 2.5 liter 4 cylinder. The first step is making sure that engine is hot and the vehicle is parked on the leveled surface. What is nice about the Outback, you don't have to raise the vehicle. There is enough space underneath to perform that oil change. I will start with removing this oil filling cap and leaving it just sitting on top of the tube. I brought my oil catching pan right here and I have a wrench number 17 and I'm ready to undo the oil pan plug. Just happened. Perfect. I will carefully remove this plug, that bolt, including the washer which is on it. Just make sure, be careful that you don't burn yourself with the old oil. And you can see how old and dirty it is. And the engine oil filter, it's so close to that pan that I can immediately continue with the job because my oil catching pan is large enough to catch the oil and you can see I can undo it by hand which is sign that the mechanic who did the job did it right because we don't use the tools to tighten those we just use the hand so I carefully loosen the oil filter of course the oil is dripping down too from this that area after the oil stops dripping or really slows down I'm ready to remove the oil filter and drain that into the pan. Next, what I will do is I will clean that housing for that engine oil filter nicely clean. I will take the new filter and very slightly lubricate this rubber gasket with the oil and I'm ready to install the new oil filter in its place. So I will carefully catch the thread and what is important, and we said it already, I will hand tight it only. I will tight it a lot, but only by the hand. I will be not using any tools. This is perfect. After approximately 30 minutes, I'm ready to install the oil pan bolt, also using the new crusher spacer. And I will tight it nice and snug, firm, definitely firm, but be careful, don't tight it too much to strip the thread in the oil pan. It should be just perfect. That means I'm finished underneath the vehicle. And I will continue up here. Owner's manual tells me that this engine requires 4.2 quarts of the 5W30 motor oil. So I will be using funnel to avoid uh, spills and I will pour approximately 3.9 quarts of this engine oil. I'm not going pour all 4.2 because I want to avoid overfilling the engine. The next step is using the dipstick which is located right here and looking on the level of the engine oil in the engine. And I'm looking right here and it's slightly above the full which is just perfect. The next step is to put that filler tube cap back and go ahead and start the vehicle. I will be watching that engine oil warning light that it goes off after I start the engine. Perfect. So that's great. And I will go immediately and check underneath the vehicle for possible leaks from either the filter or the oil pan. And you can see there are no leaks. Everything is good. I will let engine run at idle for approximately one minute and then I will shut it off. 
and after waiting at least five minutes I'm ready for my final measurement and hopefully this is what you will see on your dipstick that the oil level is touching that top mark which shows the full I hope this gives you some idea how the oil change is done on this 2001 Subaru Outback please stay tuned even better subscribe because way more videos on this auto resource channel are coming soon thank you for your time and have a wonderful day